We've been to three different doctors and no one's been able to tell us what's going on. Okay. I know something definitely is not right. I guess I'm just desperate. I understand. So when Dr. Thomas gave me your number, Frank's I... great, Amy. Yeah, we were uh, we were at Duke together. He's he's nice. Um, I'm sorry. I guess I'm just nervous because I don't know that much about reincarnation. Well, I mean, I could give you a half hour on Buddhism and Jungian theory, but then your eyes would go back in your head, and that would not be good. So, um, so let me just start with this. Have you ever had a deja vu moment? You know, so. Well, what, when you saw someone and you thought that maybe, I don't know, that maybe they seemed familiar? Sure, all the time. Yeah. Okay, well, scientists have been trying to figure those moments out for, like, ever. Okay? Um, some of them say that it's because of a misfiring of the neurons. Others will tell you that it's because of a deep brain anomaly and the way that we process memory. But I think there's another explanation. Um, I believe it is because we're mining levels of consciousness that science just can't contemplate. I'm sorry, I'm not sure I follow. Okay, the idea of reincarnation is that we've been here before, right? And, and so we have memories of these past lives, right? Normally these memories, they stay deep in our subconscious and there's not a problem. But sometimes when our souls are in conflict, these memories come to the surface. And when that happens, these things can be really traumatic. Um, it's called recession. And that's when a person goes back and they experience life events that they've already had in a past life. So do you think this is what's happening to my son? Maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't really know yet, you know? Some doctors, um, they, they, they use hypnosis, others use psychotherapy, um, some use medication to treat the problem, but here our approach is a little bit different. Um, in my experience, these answers are usually found in the regression themselves. So if we can isolate the triggers, right, the things that are causing mm -hmm. this to happen, then we can probably spark more of these and then we can gather the information necessary to figure out what exactly is going on.